Hey, welcome to my bathroom. <laughs> uh, and there's a reason why we're in the bathroom. And it's because I kind of wanted to minimize the space uh, so that I can show this demo to my good friend, the Arctic Jedi. And uh, he's been having some problems with the fonts on his uh, Aurora. And uh, this is the Aurora without the uh, pommel on to activate it. One uh, has to get the finger in there, which, there we go. Nope. I'm having a hard time getting my finger in there in one way. Let's use, uh, let's see, will this work? Yes. And it's on. So we've got Mantle of the Force. I've been recharging my saber. And there we go. So uh, I'm not exactly sure what the issue has been uh, with uh, something to do with the fonts um, cutting out uh, during ignition or something to that effect. Um, before I get into the show, I want to preface... Uh, the video by saying that one of the wonderful things about the uh, Diadium 3 and the Electrum Sabercraft Sabers is you can kind of just pick this thing up and, and fiddle with the profiles whenever the mood hits you. And I've been working on this particular profile uh, specifically other than trying to tweak some of the, the volume settings and uh, the frequency settings on the um, the sound font that, I've, that I'm using, which is Mantle of the Force, um, you know, to kind of maximize the the sound of the saber and the, the swing, the smooth swing, and uh, you know some of the clash and and swing sounds and whatever. Um, I was also working on the blade profile, trying to get like a light flicker. It's really difficult to just kind of get a flicker while maintaining the blade color. Uh, it takes some some finagling, and I, I think I managed to do an okay job with this, and I do like the flash on clash on on this. Um, and he showed me basically how to set it so that you can have blaster block, and uh, the way the saber works is you get a bit of a, um, you get the 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 clash, sort of as a you know well I'll demonstrate it it's just easier. So let's ignite it. This is for you, uh, Arctic Jedi. So you can see I got a bit of a flicker. It's plenty loud in here. It doesn't sound quite as loud in an open space. So I haven't had any issues with it. Try a different profile. I forgot. I always forget that you have to actually have the thing ignited. It's <laughs> not very intuitive to me, anyway. And I don't have all the volumes kind of set to where they need to be, but...
I still have to work on this one. should be but I'm still working on this one so we'll try one more yep <laughs> I was pretty that one. This is for the benefit of, like I said, my friend, the Arctic Jedi. Um, I'm not exactly sure, you know, what the uh, situation is with your saber, but um, I hope that uh, Electrum Sabercraft is able to get your saber up and running as soon as possible. Like I said, I, I wouldn't even own this saber for, <laughs> if it wasn't for you. And it is one of my uh, most prized possessions, as you can see, very much like uh, Obi-Wan's saber. The, uh, as I've said previously, kind of really did a good job on the weathering. So, um, yeah, I love this thing. And I'd very much like to see yours up and running uh, soon enough. Um, I hope this helped. If you have any questions for me, please uh, feel free to uh, lay them on me, my friend. And to everyone else, uh, thank you for watching. I know this was probably a little bit boring for you, but um, I kind of promised to do this. And uh, I'm a man of my word. And I uh, hope everyone has a wonderful evening. Take care now. Bye-bye.